Okay, next one. Yeah, so rest. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. God doesn't say to, say to come to him as a perfect person. He wants us to come to him weary and burdened. And just like our children, if, if one of my kids were to, um, to have a, a drug addiction or to have anything, I would want them to come to me and so I can help them deal with it. And God is that God. He took away all my addictions, all my hangups, my hurts, um, all my bitterness and anger. And we want to do that for our kids. So how is it, how does God feel, do you think, when one of us repents? It's, it's a joyous time, right? And yet our human nature is to retreat from people and from God. Yes. When we <clears throat> have fallen, and a lot when of people, we're in trouble. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, God would never take me. Yes, he would. He would love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, what a beautiful visual. Mm -hmm. Is that a parent's hand holding that? Yes, little? yeah, the father's hand. Yeah. Thumbelina. Yeah. Okay, next one. Yeah, fussing. For I am your provider and I meet all of your needs. So God is, uh, God continues to pri provide for us and he says to me, come to me as a child and um, not as a teenager. <laughs> Mind you, I'm just getting, my daughter's getting into the teenage years, so we're experiencing a lot of, uh, a lot of fun, you know? Okay, so, what, what as a mother, what do you mean? And when you're expressing God's heart, come to me as a child, not as a teenager. <laughs> oh. What's your experience, Julie, on there too? <laughs> oh my goodness. My daughter is just starting to get into the, the teen years and just the rebellion and the, you know, the talking back and the, you know, God, children are so, they just want to learn and seek. And when good behavior is modeled, they demonstrate that. And they're just... They're just, they love, they, ha they want to be with their provider and they trust you and they love you and they go to you for comfort. And, you know, that's the way God wants us to be with him. The interesting thing is that our teenagers look at us sometimes and respond as if we are from another planet mm -hmm. and they don't really want to hear yeah. what we have to say. Our mm -hmm. opinion doesn't count. Yeah. And yet all the surveys show that post-adolescence, those teenagers wish they had shared more with their parents. Oh, yes. We yeah. are the ones yeah. they want to hear from. Oh, yeah. And they one just thing, don't say that with their body language. Yeah. One thing God revealed to me is that, um, you know, even though you who like to give good gifts to your children, even though you who are evil like to give good gifts to your children, I'm like, wow, God, why would you, why would you put you are evil? And I'm like, we are. We're all evil. We all battle our own sin. And so I say to my kids, you know what? Mommy's never going to be a perfect parent. And God revealed to me, my, my parent like is not perfect. And I hear so many stories of people having anger towards their parents. And you know, well, God's says they're evil. They're not perfect. And we have to forgive and just love them, right? We're all, we all fall short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. We're all sinners. But growing, hopefully, mm -hmm. to be more like God. Of course. As we trust yeah. Him one day at a time. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see what you're going to teach me next. Yes. This is that nothing will ever separate us from um, from the love of God. This now, is my daughter. Are, this is your daughter, and what <laughs> is she doing? We were at a um, a um, museum in Ottawa, and it's just such an interesting picture that um, the designer Nancy Delu is a friend of mine, and she designed this page. And she said, uh, you know, she just thought this picture was so fitting that, you know, for I am persuaded beyond doubt that neither life nor death nor angels nor principalities nor things impending or threatening nor things to come nor powers nor heights nor depth nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. And uh, you know, you think of the ultimate sacrifice would be, could anybody give up their child? And Christ demonstrate mm -hmm. us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the ultimate sacrifice and every parent could understand there's nothing worse in life than the loss of a child. Mm -hmm. And it was his one and only son. Hmm. Yeah, he makes you it so simple. You are thinking these thoughts every time you're capturing images. Oh yeah, you? oh yeah. You're like growing God. spiritually through, through yeah. your work. Yeah, every day, every day God speaks to me more and more. And this has been 10 years of writing down all these comments and researching the scriptures. And there's so many biblical parallels to parenting that it's, it's unbelievable. And the Bible came alive to me. I never read the Bible um, before I was 19. So, so I'm just reading it and finding You're all these. It. Oh, I am! Like it's <laughs> it's an amazing, amazing book. What a happy marriage! Yes, it is. 
of yep. images and life lessons from God's Word. Mm -hmm. um, another one. <clears throat> Is that it? Oh, I was just warming up. Oh, I know. Uh, how some... many are there in the book? It's not there's, finished There's going to be about 100. Um, there'll be about, yeah, 50 to 70 biblical parallels in the book. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? I just opened to this one. Yeah. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. You really do have children, not just babies. Yeah. Children of... Uh, of a variety of ages. Oh yeah, yeah. And this represents a number of years mm -hmm. of capturing the moments. Oh, that picture oh, is one of my favorites. Beautiful. Yeah. I love to kiss your face every time you are hurt. When you are broken hearted, I am close to you. Psalm 34, yeah. verse 18. That little girl looks pretty pensive. Mm -hmm. The most amazing experience was just, uh, yeah, feeling God's unconditional love and then experiencing that in my own children. You're wearing yeah. them, I think, around your neck. I am, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, our company started a new jewelry line where we um, hand stamp our, you can hand stamp your children's names into the, the silver. And so there they are, right here. If you can, <laughs> oh, there they are. So this is. Uh, with you at all times. They are, they're with me at all times, my babies. <laughs> Actually, Julie, today we're, um, we're scooping the Sunday message at Compass Point. Mm -hmm. um, Julie's been asked to speak on Mother's Day mm -hmm. at uh, both services behind us here on Kearns Road and up at Eagles Field. Yes. How do you feel about that? I'm so excited. And, and it's going to be a show and tell message. It is. There's going to be um, a video with scriptures and, um, and pictures and my testimony will be shared. And yeah, so if anybody has any teens they want to bring out, I'd encourage it. Yeah. You know, my husband and I think many men I've met mm -hmm. have said that they didn't fully understand the father's love mm -hmm. for them mm -hmm. until they themselves became dads. Yeah. Yeah. So this thing we're talking about that explodes in a mother's heart mm -hmm. uh, happens for a lot of men too. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's the same. You know, and the, the dads, when I come in, like, well, when they come in with their babies, these dads are just, you should see them, like just in awe of their children. You know, God gave them that love too. And it's not, you know, if we didn't have that love, would we exist? Mm -hmm. If God didn't create us that way? Everything has order, you know, like... The way um, we we caught a puppy, his name's Paco, <laughs> and uh, so anyways, we're just learning about about him, like and how he is is trained to be a pack animal, and how you gotta you know put yourself in his shoes and think of being in a pack. And I think, well, yeah, like God designed that. He's the designer of us all, and He gave us this love for our children. Yeah. Vine images. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that title um, for your work? Well, vine images is uh, based on the scripture, John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And it's like our children too. If they didn't have us to care for them, nurture them, love them, provide for them, they, they wouldn't live, you know? And I learned about how um, a parent, even if a child isn't cuddled and held and embraced, how they can die. Like it's... Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's pretty amazing. So without God, I would be nothing and my business would be nothing. And so I'd, I give everything to him. Well, this is uh, quite an achievement mm -hmm. and uh, a spiritual journey. It is. And it's, it's it, to see it, it yeah, it's, it's an amazing, it's been an amazing journey. And I'm excited to see what the next, you know, 10, 20 years will have in store. We're excited for you. Mm -hmm. And for people who might want to explore Unexpected Love, uh, about 12 weeks, Julie? Yeah, we're, we're 12 really to 16 weeks. We're just in the process of, of getting the, the print process and all that kind of stuff. And who's yeah. the printer who helped to make this happen for us This today? was um, Willow Paperworks who, uh, who did this book for us in, you know, I, I wanted to bring it on the show and they did it in six days for us and then <laughs> shipping it. It's been, it's been a fantastic process and they were such a blessing to provide it for us in such a great time frame. And FedEx, I owe them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was a movie yeah. moment today, it wasn't was it? It was a movie moment. Just it was, everything. Yeah. <sighs> okay, my hair didn't make it, but yeah. everything else. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God you so good. much. Oh, I can't wait. I get to hear the whole thing on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We'll be praying for you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Well, moms especially, I hope you have been encouraged 
and uh, we want to say in advance, and maybe we should be reminding the dads, Sunday, Mother's yes. Day. Some of them do need reminding. Mm -hmm.